next level mindset once again in this powerful and positive video i'm giving you three affirmations that will absolutely change your life these have worked for me so i know they'll work for you make sure you stay with me on this all the way through i've got some bonus powerpoints next level insights you will not get this anywhere else by the fact that you're watching and listening to this right now this is confirmation that your words have power this is an early bonus point number one most people will never experience the full benefit of affirmations because of this one mistake we'll talk more about that as we get into this and the first affirmation that would change your life it says all of the power of the universe is now on my side because i am fully and completely in tune with the infinite now this reminds me that the divine power is really guiding me on my side, being in tune. I used to read different books and one of the books that I picked up, it talked about having that at oneness, having that attunement with the divine spirit, being one with God, being one with the universe. And it really took me a while to realize that I'm never really alone. I have that power of God in my life. So I want to encourage you and remind you, never think that you are alone. You always have the spirit of God with you. And as long as you're doing what you know you need to do, honoring that golden rule, you just can't go wrong. All of the power of the universe is now on my side because I am completely and fully in tune with the universe, with the infinite spirit of God. Put that in your own words like we talked about earlier, right? All of the power of the universe is now on my side because I am fully and completely in tune with the infinite. This affirmation has really changed my life because it allowed me to realize that even though I may be on my own, I'm never really alone. God is always right there, keeping me strong, helping me to do what needs to be done in my life. And if this works for me, I know this will work for you just the same. And by the way, if this is your first time here or you've been here before and you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. We're on our road to 5K. If you want to stay empowered and inspired together, we would love to have you here as a part of Next Level. The next affirmation that would change your life, it says, I realize that who I really am is divinity and manifestation and what I really am is a divine presence. And so today I'm living my life from the perspective of this higher self. I like this one because it reminds me that we all have a higher self and we all have a lower self. The Bible calls it that carnal mind for that lower self. And the higher mind is that spiritual, that God divine spark of divinity. And it's really a choice. We can either identify with the physical self or we can identify with this divine eternal self. So I like this one. Who I really am is a manifestation of this divine presence and one thing about this the more i realize this the more i can connect and live my life from the perspective of this higher self there's more to the story there's more to you than anyone will ever see so this affirmation really will change your life i am not the false person that's another one that i have i am not the false person that i've always thought myself to be my true identity is spirit infinite unlimited universal and eternal which is immortal i am that i am and all is well so keep that in mind i realize that who i really am is divinity in manifestation and what i really am is a divine presence and so now i am living my life from the perspective of this higher self we can make progress doing what we know we need to do to get to the next level and if you're part of the family you already know that's how we like to do it to get it done Next level mindset, that's where it's at. The next affirmation that would change your life, it says, I am a master in discernment. And so I easily see through deceptive people and their childish schemes. People will try to play games with you as if you don't really know what's going on, right? You can see through all of that. I am a master in discernment. And so I easily see through deceptive people and their childish schemes. There are a lot of people who really have not grown up in life. There are a lot of people who really take pleasure in seeing the downfall of other people. You can see through it. I like this one because it reminds me to keep my eyes open, to not only use my outer vision, but to use my inner vision. I like to use my peripheral perception, using all of my senses, seeing what's really going on. Remember, everyone is not who they appear to be. There's always more to the story. 
And so this affirmation reminds me to see through the childish schemes of other people. As you go through your life, you will find that there are certain people who will be scheming behind your back, playing games, trying to find out where they could take you down. They're not really happy with their life, and so they really don't want you to be happy with yours, but you don't have to fall for it. Be a master in discernment. And the way I've done that in my life along my journey is take every opportunity that I can more and more to just be aware. Be aware of my surroundings. Be aware of things happening in my life. Also, this also involves being understanding. I really have to get to the point where I understand everyone is not on that next level. Everyone is not a next level light, right? Like me and you. Everyone is not wanting to do the right thing, wanting to live a powerful life. A lot of people are really not happy with themselves, so they're not there. Just be aware of what's going on. Because if you can make it through that, if you can see through those things, you can learn how to say no when it's time to say no. You can say, no, I'm not falling for that. My life is more than that. I like to say, you may have to raise your standard to be with me, but I refuse to lower my standards to be with you. So keep that in mind as you go through your life. There's a lot of people who would try to play games with you. You can be a master in discernment, seeing through those childish schemes. So keep that one. I like that one. I am a master in discernment. And so I easily see through deceptive people and their childish schemes. I know what's really going on. Now, I got a bonus affirmation that I want to share with you and some insights on this whole affirmation process. But first, before we do that, I've got to tell you about Amazon. If you need it, Amazon probably has it. They are the host of my songs. They host my merchandise. They also host my books, Mystic Secrets of the Bible, my new book, Divorced and Still Destined for Greatness. They are the host of my channel. So check them out with the links in the description. And if you decide to buy my books on that site, leave us a review. We'd love to know that we've been a blessing to you as well. If you are enjoying the content on my channel, consider becoming a member. We have a membership that you can join for exclusive content behind the scenes, never seen by anyone else. You can cancel at any time, enter on any level that you want to enter in on. And if you are a content creator, you could also create your own Buy Me A Coffee membership site as well. So make sure you do that and that will be a great way for you to be a blessing to the channel. So now this bonus affirmation says, I realize my oneness with the infinite spirit and with all things. So nothing ever happens to me without a purpose. As I see the purpose and learn the lesson, I am naturally elevated to higher levels in my life. And I touched on this a little bit earlier when we were talking. One of the mistakes that a lot of people make when it comes to affirmation is not really put it in, in their own words. A lot of times when we hear affirmations from other people, the limiting part of it is when we don't personalize it. So I want to encourage you really to remind you on that. Put these affirmations, even the ones that we've gone over, put them in your own words, make them personal. And another mistake that a lot of people make with affirmations is not using the energy, not having that sense of certainty, not having that sense of power, having that power behind it, saying them out loud, putting them in your subconscious mind. I listen to mine as I'm going to sleep. I put them on repeat and I allow them to enter into the subconscious mind. And maybe you're in a situation where you're just now getting back started again. Maybe you're just getting going again and you're making a bounce back. I put together a video, affirmations to help you bounce back and get back going again. And I share those in this video right here coming on the screen. I think that would be a great video for you to watch next. So check that video out right now. Enjoy it. Thanks again for my subscribers and returning viewers. I really appreciate you. Hit the like button and share this on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't done that. Stay blessed. Stay positive. Never give up whatever you do. Till next time, I'll see you on the next level. Peace.